Hi, and welcome back to the Trick and Scribe. My name is Esther, and today we're going to be working on circle pockets. So I have three. One is a six, this one's a, with the six and a half, seven inch circle. This one's the same. What I'm trying to do with these is show you a way to use the single sided paper. And this is a little thinner paper, so I stenciled on it. Then I used fabric on the, the white part. So I hope that you enjoy the circle pockets and let me know what you think about them in the comments. If you're new here, it'd be great if you subscribed, if you like what you see. And either way, if you hit the like button and leave me a comment, it would be greatly appreciated. The pocket needs to be, you'll see it on both sides. So what I want to do is take this and stencil the back because I know there's a lot of people that don't have printers to print. So we're going to start with this. And I'm just going to draw around this circle. Like I said, this is, if you don't have a printer, it's a great pocket to make because we're going to fix this back because the double-sided paper is thick and it's hard to do all these folds. So I am using scrapbook paper that's more like um, the 32 28 pound paper it's not cardstock so it's folding very easily for me so first what we're going to do is put that out of the way so you can see I have this going this way we want to kind of figure out where the middle of our circle is and since this is a direction I am going to I think I like that up there so I'm gonna try and do this this way so I'm just I, I folded it in half and kind of made a little mark right there so I could see where that line is without really marking it. Then I'm folding it in to where they kind of, they're, they're overlapping just a tiny bit, but not much. I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to fold it up about two inches. You can go further or let more or less if you want. So let me just stress Okay, I have distressed all my lines. Just so you can see them, you don't necessarily need to distress them all before you get it ready. So I'm going to cut from here to here and from here to here. If you had some of them fancy scissors to cut the edges, that would probably look cool too. We can fold this up and look at how it looks both ways before we make our decision. I need to trim this one just a little bit on the top side. So we can have our pocket like this and decorate that part, or we can turn it around and have our pocket like this and decorate this part. So what I'm going to do is actually, we're going to do both. So I know that I need this if I'm going to see. What do I want to use? Got this one. 
So I'm just going to put some Distress ink on here and stencil it. it it's going to depend on where I'm, which side I'm going to do. But since it's a smaller circle, I'm going to go ahead and just do the whole, pretty much the whole circle. Okay. So we can look at it this way again. That not look too bad. Or this way. I actually like both ways. I think I'm going to go with this one, though. Trim that little bit of ink mark off just because of where it's at. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue because I want this side up. I'm going to put some glue right here. Some glue right here. I'll fold this one in. I'll fold this one in. And you see this is a little short right there. Well, when you fold that up, you will never see it. So that might help in getting your pocket to close is to cut a little bit wider of a piece. So I'll put glue here and here. Now I'm going to put glue right here and right here. Okay. And for all purposes, this one is done. Oh, that will look good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do with this I'm going to put this fabric glue right here to here. Same here. And then I'm going to probably just tack it down a little bit right there in the middle. I don't know. Get my big head out of the way, huh? There's some more deer in my front yard, y'all. I'm putting a little bit more on this part so it'll hold on to it. I like that. So, I still have this other one to decorate, you know, I like that, I'm probably wasting fabric or lace, but oh well, let's see. So I have that. Let's see. Maybe I'm gonna be able to put a lot more on it. Put that down there. 
like that though. If it wasn't quite so big, I could stick it inside there, which no, I kind of like that too. Now I've done glued all this. Let me see how I'm going to get this in here without making a mess. Just gonna need a little trimming. Like I said, this is something that should have been done before I got this far. I don't know if I'm even going to show you all, all this part. So I think I'm going to show you the other one. Okay. So let's let that dry. So that is two that are seven inches. This is a six inch circle. And I'm gonna do the same thing, is just cut it out like we're in school. So again, like I did a while ago, I'm going to find the center, just kind of, not really crease it, but just make a little mark right there, and then fold this in to that mark, I'm going to fold this one in, and I'm going to fold this up probably about right there, which is about inch and a half cut that right there kind of what I wanted to see and it's folded over how much of this what I see just to put a little piece of fabric right here. This down here. Um, okay, so I've cut me out a little rectangle. I'm going to glue it down with Fabric Tack. I 
I'm not going to put a lot. That way it don't get everywhere. And then I'm going to put this. I'm going to kind of gauge where it's going. I want it to definitely cover up this first little bit. Well, I don't think I'm going to worry about that though. So I got this on. What I'm going to do is turn it around and trim my fabric. So now what we're going to do is just fold these in again. And you can put some lace up there if you got a little. Backside, would that look better? Kind of like that. There we go again. What I'm going to do is take this and ruffle it so it kind of goes in a curve. So I'm just pinching little ruffles in there. And I thought I could get my sewing machine out, but I really don't want to get in with it today. So now I need something to kind of cover that up. A little too close right there. Could fit some of this across it. Put some of it across there. I'm also going to make a bow. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right there on that, which when I stick it down, I think I'm going to do it like that. You know, I don't think I'm going to need these big old save those pieces. I still need them. Then stick it to my So 
I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the end of these so they don't fray. Kind of rub it in. Same thing over here probably wouldn't hurt. just a little bit more. Okay. So now my question is what do I do here? I put a little bit of that black on there and trim it out. Not straight. Oh, come on now. Put a little bit of that. You know what? I, no one did. I glued it on the right side. Do I want it to be frayed? Since we got the. As well, huh? some edges on this one. It's not going to be as polite and careful as the other one was. I think it's the way you cut it. There's some. Okay. I'm going to trim that little piece right there. I have stopped talking as much by now. I've got really into decorating this pocket so I'm speeding up the last little bit so you can still see me decorate the pocket and not have to sit at normal speed with it since I'm not talking but as always thank you so much for stopping by I hope that you enjoyed the videos video and that You'll come back by and see what else I've got. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. And either way, if you don't mind, please leave me a, a comment in the description below what you think about the circle pockets, especially the fabric one that I really enjoyed making. But thank you guys and have a great day.